On this week's test ride, we're going to bust some myths surrounding the perception of Honda with the Dirt Tracks crew. Come on, follow me, I wanna show you something. This is my 130 horsepower Honda outboard motor. This thing is super reliable, unbelievably fuel efficient, and starts every time you look at it. Plain and simple, this is a great engine. This is my sweet 15 year old Honda Weed Whacker. It never fails to start on the first pull, despite the fact I've never changed the oil on it. It still runs like the day I bought it. So here's what I'm saying. The highly critical and discerning staff here at Dirt Tracks TV really do have a profound appreciation for the key attributes everything with those five letters on it represents. There's no doubt the subject of this test ride, the Honda 1000 Pioneer LE, will revisit the attributes Honda is famous for. However, there's more going on here than just bulletproof durability and quality. This 1000 Pioneer has earned substantial praise from the Dirt Tracks crew. So here's the deal. You, me, and everyone whose head sucks air agrees. Honda's ATVs and side-by-sides are assembled with the highest quality processes and components. It's a given. H-O-N-D-A means quality. Nonetheless, we've been down this road before. We've given kudos to Honda's core attributes, but had to backpedal on how some Honda side-by-sides didn't perform up to the expectations of both our test riders and you, our viewers. In the case of this exceptionally good looking and near ergonomically perfect Pioneer side-by-side, -side, things have changed. We are impressed with its engine performance, ride quality, and excellent handling. Seriously, this is a top performing ride which puts Honda in a new place in the side-by-side -side market. Go ahead and quote us. This is a competitive vehicle against the sales leading Polaris Ranger. This may freak you out, but lurking under these fenders is a set of our favorite coilover shock dampers. A full set of Fox QS3s are standard on the LE. Pretty sweet. QS3s are super easy to adjust. There's just three settings, soft, medium, and firm. We elected to use soft and found the Pioneer to be as plush as any side-by-side -side we've tested to date. The Pioneer has excellent roll control in high-speed turns, and the suspension articulates well in gnarly, rock-strewn creek beds, keeping quality Maxxis Bighorns hooked up. There's a ton of EPS systems available in the side-by-side -side market. However, quite a few of them leave a lot to be desired. The Pioneer 1000's EPS is literally flawless. The 1000cc Unicam Parallel Twin in the Pioneer is a gruntmeister on tight trails and rev-happy on fire roads. The spread of power is not just good, it's excellent and rivals both the Ranger and the Defender's 1,000cc mills. This ungoverned Pioneer, a first for Honda, easily pulls a healthy 60-plus top end. However, Honda's insistence on using a needlessly complex auto paddle-shifting dual-clutch tranny on their side-by-sides gets low marks around here. Yes, this is the best this system has ever worked, likely due to the 1,000's imposing power delivery. However, it is a complicated, jerky operating tranny, which does not equal the smooth and linear response of most of the CVTs used in competitive vehicles. A question we have with the LE relates to its dual-mode cargo box. The cargo box converts into a pair of high-mounted, dual rear seats, complete with belts, doors, and a roll cage. While multi-passenger side-by-side sales are continuing to soar, Honda's answer to the multi-passenger issue is at the very least unusual and most certainly complicated. Essentially, the rear cargo box morphs into a rear seat for two passengers. When this mode is selected, there is no longer any usable rear cargo space in the box. This is a little confounding, as generally, the more riders you take with you, the more junk they bring with them. We think Honda should just weld in the extra length of frame required to make the Pioneer 1000 into a full six-seater with an unobstructed cargo box. Make no mistake about it, the Pioneer 1000 LE is highly competitive in the hotly contested big bore sport utility segment. It gives its main competitors, the Polaris Ranger XP1000 and the Can-Am Defender 1000, a serious run for their money. This segment is just the start for you. Click the subscribe button and become part of the Dirt Tracks Nation where you'll have access to tons of great content from all of the years past of our great stories, trail techs, and test rides.